Hello friends, today we are going to solve CBSE class 10th maths exercise 8.4 question number 5 sub question 10 1 plus 10 square a upon 1 plus cot square a is equals to 1 minus 10 a upon 1 minus cot a whole square is equals to 10 square a means we have to prove all these three terms equals so directly I am going to prove this equals to this and this equals to this so let us start first I am going to solve this so let us start 1 plus 10 square a upon 1 plus cot square a equals to sec square a cos x square now you know by the identity 1 plus 10 square a gives you sec square a and 1 plus cot square a gives you cos x square and we want 10 square so we know if we, are, we convert this into sine and cos we are going to get 10 square so again now I am going to convert sec square means 1 by cos square upon cos x square that is 1 by sine square now we got fraction upon fraction so what will happen this denominator will go in the numerator but it will become reciprocal 1 by cos square a into sin square a by 1 so if we will multiply we will get sin square a by cos square a and so directly sin by cos is 10 so that will become 10 square a okay we had proved this now we are going to prove this 1 minus 10 a whole square upon 1 minus sorry 1 minus 10 a upon 1 minus cot a whole square and we have to convert this into 10 square so directly I am converting 1 minus 10 a so 1 minus 10 gives you sin a by cos a upon this 1 minus cot a that is 1 minus cos a by sin a now we have to find out the LCM in the numerator so this will I am going to multiply this both with cos cos so what will happen cos a minus sin a upon cos a in the numerator and here also we have to find out the LCM so that will become we are going to multiply sin with both this so what will happen sin a minus cos a upon sin a. now again one thing we had forgot to put that is this is whole square is there so again here also it's whole square now we have to convert this now fraction by fraction so what will happen cos a minus sin a upon cos a into this will go in the numerator sin a upon this sin a minus cos a now what we have to do look look here this is cos a minus sin a this is sin a minus cos a so what we can do we can take out minus common here so this will become cos a minus sin a so we can cancel that so what will happen we will take out minus co common cos a minus sin a upon cos a into sin a upon minus common this will become cos a minus sin a because when we are taking minus common sign changes so this will become plus and this will become minus so look here now we can cancel this but whole square is also there so now what will happen sin a minus cos a whole square sin a upon minus cos a whole square is there. so when we will square this this will become sin square a and this cos square will also become positive cos square a because square is there now sin square a by cos square a will give you 10 square a so this way we can solve and prove this. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.